What's going on guys? Bruce, Balling Chain Fitness. Today, I want to talk about progression. Now, progression by definition means movement, as in towards a goal, uh, development, growth, steady improvement. So there are two types of uh, ways to progress. Well, maybe three. Uh, this is just, again, my opinion. Physical, physical progression as far as uh, weightlifting pertains is, uh, or bodybuilding, you lift more weight, you do more reps, you run faster, maybe lose weight, or if you're bulking, you gain weight. They're, they're all progressions towards something, towards a goal. Uh, the next would be mental slash emotional. Uh, these two could be separated, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But uh, this has to do with motivation, willpower, and your emotions. Uh, happy, sad, angry. Uh, now those... Uh, it kind of fits in the same category because they they both have to do with your mind. Um, but your emotions affect it to a degree. So, I didn't realize the effect that it had until today, actually. So, today, I really actually had a lack of motivation. Today was chest day. Usually, I'm pretty good about that. So, I go in and bench, and I hit, I, I think I did the, the 381 again, but this time I went back to my training method of going on really slow touching chest and going so I got two reps which is more than I thought it would get if you watched the last video I thought I would only get one so not only did I get two reps but I did two sets of two reps um, and that made me really happy uh, so despite the lack of motivation to keep pushing through the workout I was so happy with making progress uh, with my strength that that kept me pushing through the workout so while it is the same it is different because if I was in a different state of mind if I was sad or maybe something was going on outside it would probably affect my workout and I probably would have cut it short and left the gym so those are the two things that I believe uh, affect progression not progressing physically meaning you're not gaining any strength or you know if you're trying to lose weight you're not losing weight um, that's all signs of not progressing physically so if you stop uh, progressing physically does that mean you've completely stopped progressing no because of the mental style now if you've completely given up and you're like fuck this I'm over it that is uh, you've truly stopped progressing at that point to continue to progress when you stopped physically progressing is when you start looking at your program look at what you're doing and changing it so that you get back on track and get back to physically progressing that develops your mental capacity and your mental strength which when you build something, that's progressing. So you're building your mental ability, your willpower to keep going and push through. And that's why I say just because you stopped progressing physically, it does not mean you have completely stopped progressing unless you've given up. An um, example would be if you are progressing towards your goals by doing whatever it is you're doing, uh, whatever program it is, um, if you are happy with the way you're progressing don't let anybody tell you that you're doing it wrong because if you are progressing and you're happy with it that that's all that matters um, you know people like to say consistency is the key and while it is a big part of it if you're not progressing doing whatever you're consistently doing then what's the point right it's kind of like being insane 
because you're doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So while consistency helps, it is not everything, and that's why I believe progression uh, is the key to uh, developing not only physically but mentally. Now, if you're looking for a different way to maybe progress faster, then you could change your program. But don't be flip-flopping programs so often. And this is where consistency comes in because you need to give programs a chance. You don't just do it one, like, one week and expect to have broken through whatever plateau you, you went through or you're not progressing any faster. Also, uh, if somebody suggests something to you and you are being open to it and you want to try it, don't feel bad if it's just not working for you. You know, if you consistently, if you went at it consistently and it's just something that uh, maybe their program doesn't keep you as motivated as whatever program you are on, don't feel bad about not just scrapping the whole thing and going back. Taking steps back does not necessarily mean you're uh, digressing. You're still progressing as long as your uh, whatever program you on keeps you going forward. So that's all I have to say to you guys today. Uh, progression, consistency is important, but I still believe that progression is the key. And